back on the range today with the 44 Magnum. Coming up is the Spear short barrel. Let me tell you a little bit about it. But you know what? Before I do, I don't know if this is one of my most pleasurable videos or one of my most embarrassing videos. Folks, read this shirt. Can y'all read it? Hurry up. Don't put me through this kind of pain. Just, just come on. Come on, speed read. Speed read is what I need you guys to be doing. Speed reading. All right, that's enough. If you ain't seen it by now, you ain't going to see it. You probably saw, saw in the previous video that beautiful logo and that polo shirt and on that polo hat. I came home and my wife was upset with me. She said, where in the world have you been dressed like that? And I was not with you. I told her I went to the range to show off the new merch that her and my son-in-law helped get for the channel. I, I, I didn't understand the questioning, quite frankly. Well, she says, Mr. Sexy, you are not allowed to go out of the house like that again without me on your arm. Next thing I know, a day or two later, this is what shows up. I, I think this is domestic abuse at its best. Spear, 200 grain, 44 Magnum, short barrel. Coming up next. All right, Joe, you better cut out all that giggling and laughing too. I know you're over there laughing. Same with you, Joel. Same with you, Ray, Rick. All you fellas out there. Don, I, I, I don't want to hear it. No, bro tune. <clears throat> yeah, I'm on the range with 44 Magnum, my own reloads with this dang blame shirt on. I, I, this video is going to be a mess. I cannot get my mind focused wearing this daggum shirt. Anyways, you saw the accuracy from the Performance Center, Performance Center Smith & Wesson 44 Magnum. By the way, it's got them durable DNL sights on it as well, at least rear sight. Yes, sir, it does. You see that thing? Just absolutely beautiful. And... These are reloads. Let me tell you a little bit about what's going on today. You just saw the accuracy, six shots. Speeds, feeds, and ballistics. That's right. Coming up next, we're gonna shoot six shots across the chronograph. Here's what happened. A Little bit of a story. You know I gotta tell a story. I walked into my local shop, and man, they had primers, powders, uh, freedom pills. It was all over the place. I couldn't believe it, and I thought, is it coming back to regular times? You know, I've been looking for some spear short barreled um, ammunition for this 44. They didn't have any. One of the fellows behind the counter said, we got some spear 200 grainers over here made specifically for 44. Big fella, why don't you reload it? Uh, uh, now that's a novel idea, isn't it? Yeah. So I bought some. I couldn't believe it. I mean, reloading gear showing back up on the shelves, neither here nor there. I bought some of those 200 grainers and I got them loaded up. We saw what the accuracy was like. Now we're going to put them across the chronograph and then we're going to put one, maybe more, into some gel. Bad looking gel. <laughs> I left it in my garage and it shrunk a little bit. It's still gel, though. We're going to put one through some gel and see if. My reloads from the Spear Manual, I'm using Hodgdon Universal underneath these 200 grainers. Go over to dayatherange.com if you want to know the exact loads and you want to see the write-up and the speeds and feeds in print. Let's get the chronograph set up. All the loads over on dayatherange.com. You saw what the accuracy was like from 10 yards away. I had the one flyer. That was me. But five right where I put the sights. Now we're gonna see what the speeds look like and then you're gonna hold on for the end of the video, I know, because it's going through some gel. Would I be able to count on these things? They're loaded with federal gold medal Magnum pistol primers. Let's see what this thing does across chronograph. All right, baby, we got the chronograph set up downrange. You saw what it was like from 10 
yards away with the spear gold dot on top of my own fabricated reloads. Five on the target, exactly where I put them. Then I pulled one. It's, it's this t-shirt, folks. I'm telling you it's this t-shirt. I'm not on top of my game today. But anyways, I got six rounds loaded up in brand new Starline brass with federal magnum um, match primers, gold medal match primers. I know doesn't need magnum with universal, etc. I thought maybe it delivered me some more consistency. I don't know, but we are going to see 44 magnum. Here we go, folks. Nine hundred thirty-six. Nine thirty-six. Did I turn on the camera? I did. I did. Nine thirty-six. We're about four yards back from the chronograph. Nine hundred eighty-three. Nine eighty-three. Smooth, smooth. Barely any recoil. One thousand seventeen. Oh, the hotter the revolver get. Speed's picking up. 1,015. Not bad. 985. Hmm, that went down. Extreme spread is going to be weird. 986. Hammering that backstop. I think I got one more. Oh, no, that's all she wrote. Six and Starline Brass with Universal. Go over to dayattherange.com, folks. I will put the recipe over there. You know I can't put them on YouTube. I'll put the recipe over at dayattherange.com so you can see what it is just in case you want to load some of these flying ashtrays. Man, the hollow point is deep on these things. You know what? Let's get that gel set up and see what it does in some ballistics gel. Oh, these rocks are killing my knees. Stop your whining, big fella. Get on with it. Oh, spear. Short barrel. 200 grain gold dot. About three yards back. I got the chronograph set up in front because I want to see how hard this thing hits. You tell me and your guess down below. Will it retain its weight and how deep will it go in this funky looking gel? I left that gel in my garage on my garage floor. Ooh, got a little hot. It's still gel, though. Let's do it. Here we go. Oh, hard hitting. Oh, that was the lowest velocity at 922 feet per second, I think I recorded this day. But that's okay. Let's get that tape out and let's talk a little bit about this thing. Look at that gold dot there. <laughs> that thing is deep. 922 feet per second was the impact in the gel, and it went, folks. Oh, look at the tail of the tape. It went 15 inches, but had a bounce back to four and a half. And you see the travel there. Oh, yeah. Look at the cavity that it left, the wound cavity that it left. Some say that don't make a difference. I'll let you be the tail of that. But that right there is where that old gold dot come lay to rest. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. You know what? I don't have anything to take this. Oh, time for a fireside chat. Let's get home, dig this thing out, weigh it, and let's talk a little bit about should you carry your own reloads. All right, range fans, let's have this fireside chat. What was I doing on the range today with the 200 grain hollow point 44 caliber spear? Well, you all know already that I had my reloads out there. And because of the pandemic, this particular brand of factory ammunition has been really tough uh, to get a hold of, which leads you down another path of should you or would you carry your reloaded ammunition. I'm gonna cut to the chase. Absolutely not. Every attorney that I know and every attorney that I have ever seen that talks about this 
talks about vilifying the individual that makes up their own reloads. And think about this too. We all say we'd rather be judged by 12 than carried by six. Is that true? I ask, is it true? Simply because those 12 that will be picked to be on your jury, the prosecuting attorney is going to do everything in his or her power to make sure they are not 2A advocates. They're going to be, they're not going to be knowledgeable like you and I would be. You're going to put your defense attorney in, an, in a position of explaining. And when he's explaining, he or she are on their heels, heels trying to dig you out of a precarious situation of which you are most likely innocent of instead of being on the offensive. That is my take on it. That is simply my take on it. Absolutely no, you should not. But I am not an attorney in any, any kind of way and I've never practiced. But what reloading does for me, it allows me to replicate factory loads that I can go out to the range with, test for you all to see what it does in clear ballistic gel, to see what it does across the chronograph and also see how it feels on the range. It allows me to be 100% confident in the factory ammunition that I am carrying. Now, if I am in a pinch because of the emergency situation that we have mapped out in my household, if I'm in a pinch, would I have those reloads in my night side, go bump in the night pistol? Potentially. But 99% of the time, that's going to be factory also. But here's what I did. Spear, 200 grain hollow point. Hodgdon, universal. Folks, this is Hodgdon universal. Not clays, not clays. Go over to dayattherange.com and you will see the loading for this. Hodgdon universal. And you can see here, large magnum pistol match primers. Tell you what, let's dig in. Let's dig in to this clay, this gel, and dig this thing up out of here. 14 inches. 14 inches. Let's dig it on up out of here. Ooh, 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 Look at that thing. Oh my goodness. Look how this thing peeled back. You know what? I forgot to bring the old scale out here with me. Let's take a cut and go get the scale. Old range fans. This thing is a beauty up close. And that's why they call it gold dot. That old gold dot there in the center. This thing peeled back and weighs in at exactly 200 grains oh man come on i forgot my calipers again but anyways i don't know this thing op opened up to half an inch maybe potentially what you all think probably greater than that who knows probably 0 0.7 0 0.8 but anyways you know what we'll get some pictures we'll post it over at dayattherange.com i want to thank you guys for hanging in there with me as the channel continues to grow and I do it for fun. I do it absolutely for, for, for the fun of it. And you see this old ugly shirt I'm wearing. I, I swear it's domestic violence, folks. It is domestic violence. But if you want to support this channel, <laughs> hit me up, Mr. Revolver Guy, day at the .com. You can get one of those lovely hats. The shirts are in the process of being made. The hats are ready to go. Thank you guys. Mr. Revolver Guy, signing out.